Okay, got a good grip. Boom, he hops around, go over the top into the head and arm grip, deep step, sit straight down, put up, and then we roll right over. In my mind, there's, all, there's no perfect move, right? There's, you know, Mike screwed up a little bit. He might just have really good defense for that particular throw. Who knows? There's no perfect move. So you should always have something that's complimentary that, that goes from where a failed attempt would be. You might have to take an additional step, modify your grip a little bit, but there should be something that's fairly quick from there. And I was seeing a lot of people moving through some scenarios. There was a, a lot of stepping around back, okay, taking to a Tani Atoshi. Um, likewise, anything that would work with a normal Uchimata, like a, a Tai Atoshi, that all works. Okay, coming back through the inside leg hook, that works too. What I'm gonna do is something that's almost as far away from that as possible. Steve likes to call them uh, change-up pitches. So it's just like you're a pitcher, you know, you've got your fastball, your curveball, and then your change-up. Generally speaking, in our club, and it's this might be different from baseball, I don't know, I didn't play a lot of baseball, but the idea is you've got your primary throw, your backup, and then something that's so kind of crazy that they don't see it coming because it's completely different from the rest of them. So in my case, this is my changeup to it, and that's going into a sunugaishi from here with a front headlock. So we've already came into the head grip, okay, and the overhook. And if I come in and I lift the leg and he hops around in front of me to get away from it, it's one step to get his head down into a head and arm grip. One more step to go up the middle. And then we're right over the top, either into a pin or into a jump. Everything that he has to do to get out of the Uchimata sets the Sumi up. Uh, okay? All you have to do is just one grip modification and one step. Okay, the things to remember are, I'm not choking as soon as I come in here, I'm just getting a good hugging grip on him so that I have control of his head and shoulders. I step in as deep as I can and then I sit straight down. I'm not sitting backwards, okay? I sit backwards. Well, try and actually. Oh, not fall on it? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> ben was being nice to me. Oh, okay, so I step in and I sit backwards. Ben just crawls right over to me. And now he's pinning me and I'm in trouble. So nine times out of ten when your Tomoanagi or your Sumigaishi or your Hikomi Gaishi isn't working, it's because you're not sitting straight down on your heels. Step in, foot up, sit straight down, nice and round, so that you can roll back and kick. Doesn't matter which direction, again, Hikomi, Sumi, and Tomoanagi all have slight variations on where the guy lands. But the idea is I try and throw him this way, he hops around. Taps the head, step in, roll them backwards. Okay? So one more time through. Okay, got a good grip. Boom! He hops around, go over the top into the head and arm grip, deep step, sit straight down, put up, and then we roll right over. Okay? If you're a bigger guy or you're worried that you're not able to roll over, two things. Number one, get rounder. If you're a big guy, you can get round naturally. Okay, so <laughs> number two, <laughs> if it's that hard. Says a middleweight. Yeah. Yeah. Says a middleweight. <laughs> uh, but I, I, I have heavyweights that can do this. So everybody in this room can do it. So if, Doc, if Dan can do it and if Big John Waddle can do it, then everybody in this room can do it. But if you don't, really don't want to roll over on top of the guy, then you need to immediately turn as soon as he goes over and get into the north-south position. All right? So, boom. He steps around. Get the head and arm. Roll. Okay? And then we roll over. Notice I still have control of his head. I can pin him down from here, or I can go into head and arm chokes. Okay? Or even step over from there and then go into whatever I want. But the important part is that I'm retaining that head and arm control to aid the pin and also to start setting up submissions when he's trying to get out of the pin. He's, Ben's not dumb. He's going to start turning into me and digging underhooks and trying to get up. Okay? Make sense? Yeah. One more time through. Okay. Collar tie up. Okay? 